Hey all, welcome to my channel Tail Bearing Time. Today in this video, I want to simply tell the tale of William Shakespeare's The Winter's Tale. Let's get into the story. The Winter's Tale. Do you know where Sicily is? It is a big city in the country called Italy. Many many years ago, Sicily was a big kingdom ruled by King Leontis. Leontis was a very wise and noble king. He had a wife called Hermione. Queen Hermione was very beautiful and good and was an ideal wife to the king. Leontis was a very happy man. He had everything he wanted and lived very happily with his queen. The king had a friend called Polixenes. He was also a king and ruled over the kingdom of Bohemia. which is also a part of Italy. Leontis and Polixenes had been the best of friends for many years. They had grown up and studied together till their youth and then had gone away to their kingdoms after their fathers had died. Both Leontis and Polixenes had become kings and were ruling their kingdoms wisely. Now, King Leontis and King Polixenes and not meet each other for many years and they had only been able to exchange gifts and letters at the time of this story king leontis had invited his dear friend polixenes to sicily polixenes had also agreed and had come to stay with leontis for some time leontis was very happy to be with his friend after many years and they spent all their times together queen hermione too was very pleased to meet her husband's closest friend and spend her time listening to the story of their youth thus they passed many days in happiness and so it was time for polixenes to go back to bohemia on the last day when polixenes was getting ready to leave king leontis and queen hermione came to see him. Dear Polixenes, can you not stay for some more days? We do not want you to leave so soon, requested Leontis. No, my friend, I have to go back to my duties, replied Polixenes. Leontis then asked his wife, Hermione, to speak with Polixenes. He wanted her to request his friend to stay longer with them. When Hermione loved her husband very much, and wanted to see him happy she agreed to her husband's wish and went to see polixenes please stay with us for some more days dear polixenes she said we have all been very happy together and we could enjoy ourselves some more polixenes could not refuse the request of this beautiful lady he immediately agreed to stay back for a few more weeks this unfortunately created this tragic story the king had become furious that his friend had agreed to stay back only because the queen had asked him he had always known that his friend was a true and noble man and that his wife was also a very virtuous woman but in his anger he started doubting them He became terribly jealous of Polixenes. Every time the queen even spoke to Polixenes, Leontis would become furious. Poor Hermione was only making her husband's best friend feel comfortable. And she could not understand what was making the king so angry. In a few days time, Leontis had become like an animal. He called Camio one of his noble lords and commanded him go and poison polixenes he has cheated me by loving my wife camel was a wise and good man he did not believe that the king was right he knew that polixenes and the queen were too good and noble to cheat king leontis he did not want to do any wrong to them he called polixenes and told him of the king's decision and asked him to escape 
knowing that the king would kill him too if he returned camel decided to run away with polixens to bohemia so the two men escaped to bohemia where camel became a loyal and true subject of polixens when king leontis heard of their escape he became even more angry he thought that they had all cheated him in a fit of rage he went to see the queen hermione was unaware of his temper and was happily sitting with their son memelius and telling him a story king leontis suddenly entered the room and pulled the child away from her my lord screamed hermione why do you do this what wrong have i done you have committed a great sin hermione thundered the king you will go to prison for this and calling his god he ordered them to throw the queen into prison the young boy memelius loved his mother very much when he saw that she was being treated so badly he became very sad he even stopped eating anything and slowly began to die the king in the meanwhile wanted to confirm his doubt about polixens and armione he decided to consult the oracle at delphos the oracle was magical and could truly answer any question asked of it leontis sent two of his lords cleomenes and dion to go to delphos and find out from the oracle if his wife and friend had cheated him thus some months passed and hermione was still in prison she had by then also given birth to a baby girl and spent all her time with the innocent baby i am as innocent as you are my dear she would keep saying now hermione had a very good friend called paulina she was the wife of antigonus a lord at the court of leontis when paulina heard that the queen had given birth to a baby she decided to try and help her she went to the prison and meet one of the girl who attended to the queen i beg you to go to the queen with a message tell her that i will take her baby out of the prison and go and show it to the king i will try to make him understand that the queen had not been unfaithful to him she told the girl the girl was good and kind she agreed to take the message to hermione on hearing that her friend paulina was there to help her hermione was very happy she hoped that at least after seeing his baby daughter leontis would change his mind paulina took the newborn and went to the king's court her husband antigonus was scared that the king would punish them both and try to stop her but could not succeed Paulina went straight up to the king and laid the baby at his feet. "See king, what a beautiful daughter your wife has given you. Queen Hermione is innocent. Please spare her." She pleaded with Leontis, but nothing would change Leontis. He only became more angry and ordered Antigonus to take Paulina away from the court. Paulina was thus dragged away from the king but she had left the baby behind she hoped that as the king saw its beauty and innocence he would change let's continue in part 2 thanks for the watching don't forget to subscribe like comment and share thank you all